right words because it came in about a minute ago and the storm continues to be incredible. The pressure dropping even farther this afternoon, now down to 916 millibars in the winds, 185. There's that eye just passing the Virgin Islands, getting very close to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So as we come on the air here at five o'clock, here are the headlines regarding Irma unprecedented power. We've had 185 mile per hour winds now for 24 hours. That has never happened before in recorded history. The models have been shifting. Chris is going to talk more about the computer models in just a second. They shifted the storm east to Florida this morning, then back west this afternoon. Potential landfall here in South Florida could come on Sunday morning. And right now, just about all of the state, with the exception of the extreme western panhandle, under the cone of uncertainty. Let's talk about the storm itself. And by the way, in addition to uh, Irma, there are now three hurricanes in the tropical Atlantic. We've got this hurricane. This is Jose. Here we are with our storm, Irma. And here's the third. This is Katia, which just became a hurricane just a short time ago. But obviously our concern, our focus remains on this storm. This is Hurricane Irma. Just incredible, as we pointed out. And the 5 o'clock advisory continues to bear that out. I mean, take a look at these statistics. They will blow your mind. Right now, winds 185. The storm moving west-northwest at 16. The pressure rose a bit earlier today to 920. Now it's down to 914. That is record-breaking category. That's record-breaking range for this particular storm. Let's look at the forecast track again, just in and no significant change. The forecast from the Hurricane Center keeps the storm north of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Great news for them. Bad news for us because any interaction with land would weaken the storm. Then it continues moving toward the Turks and the Caicos as we head toward Thursday and into Friday. Here it is Friday, still an incredible Category 5 storm. Really no significant change in the thinking from the Hurricane Center. You can see the core of the storm at this point very close to Cuba as we head toward Saturday. And then this is Sunday morning. Maybe landfall near Miami, as you can see, is a Category 4 storm. Now watch what this track suggests right up I-95 as a Category 4 hurricane, basically Sunday morning through Sunday afternoon through Sunday night and eventually Monday morning. If that scenario plans out, it would be catastrophic for the Palm Beaches, the Treasure Coast, for that matter, the entire state. And as you can see, just about all of South Florida under the cone. All right, let's continue our live team coverage now. The computer models, they've been all over the place. First taking the storm east of Florida, now back west. And as you can see, the forecast brings it right on the Sunshine State. Here's meteorologist Chris Martinez with more on those models. Chris? Yeah, Mike, again, we got to talk about the spaghetti plots, and we're expecting Irma to continue to hold her intensity because there is very little wind shear moving forward. You can see the light greens and the blues indicating low wind shear. If there's no wind shear available, you can't see the storm be sheared apart. And as you can see, the latest spaghetti plots, they are making a turn. The question is, when and where will they continue to make a turn? You can see they're in general consensus somewhere over southeastern Florida as we get past Saturday into Sunday. Let's go through the different models and show you what we are tracking. First, we're going to start with the Euro. We did see a little shift towards the west as of the latest advisory. Here's a look at Thursday tomorrow afternoon, just north of the DR as we get closer towards Friday morning, Friday afternoon. I'm going to stop the clock about Saturday afternoon. Here's the clock, 2.39 p.m. The center of Irma, just north north of Cuba and this is where we do expect maybe the system to start to make the curve towards the north. If we run the clock, we're going to go in towards Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Center right over Miami Dade. This is the Euro. Then as we get closer towards 5 o'clock, the center basically over Lake O back out towards Palm Beach County and it continues up I-95 and quickly moves towards the north very quickly through the Daytona Beach area and eventually in towards Jacksonville. GFS wants to keep it further towards the east just a little bit, but still as we get in towards Sunday, big winds ahead here across the area. More